He's only 10 years old, but already he is an inspiration to his family, his friends, and a lot of people that he has never met. With the help of a remarkable dog named Hunter, Jake Empey is battling a condition medicine cannot cure. Hunter is a specially trained dog and able to tell Jake when a seizure is about to happen. We've known Jake all his life because his dad, Tom, is a Carol 11 News photojournalist. Tonight, another chapter in Jake's story through the eyes of his family and the lens of his dad's camera. Hey, hi, my name is Jacob. I have epilepsy. It is like a little signal coming to your brain that's not good and it can make you feel weird or it can make you fall down and hurt yourself. I fell down on my face and broke my teeth. Kind of weird and scary sometimes. For you, but not for me. When he is having a big seizure, he is gone. And, and in the back of your mind, it's like, OK, is he going to be OK? Is he going to come out of this one? What's going to happen? Sometimes it's so, uh, you know, I worry about him fitting in. And I worry about him just being a normal kid. But at the same time, he needs to say, stay safe. And he's not uh, the same as everybody else. People who don't know me that well look at me funny, but not people who know me a lot. We went to Orchestra Hall, and there was a bunch of kids from other schools, and they were all going, oh, look at the boy with the helmet. You know, look at the boy with the helmet. Jake didn't, he was concentrating on what was going on. He, he didn't hear him, but I heard him, and, and it broke my heart because they were singling him out, and they, they didn't understand. He's a remarkable kid. He's a remarkable soul. Um, although he uh, has seizures and it's difficult and he falls down and, and people look at him funny, he, he just, just doesn't let it stop him. I'm the exterminator. <laughs> <laughs> Jacob handles himself so well and he emanates that to other people. Victor, do you have the fisherman? The kids at school are so great to him because he has such a good attitude and because he doesn't let things bother him. Ashley, the first time I ever had a seizure, what did you think? Well, I just want to know if you're OK. Mm -hmm. They're scared a lot. Anthony, the first time I ever had a seizure, was it really scary? Yeah. yeah. Why was it scary for you? Because I've never seen, you at, seen anyone have a seizure before. Danica. Yeah? Do yeah. you think I'm different from anyone else? No. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you think about me? I, s I think you're cool. Do you think I'm different from anyone else? Yeah, I do. Jacob, you're one of my heroes. <laughs> no, I really mean that. A lot of kids could say, oh, I just had a seizure. I need to be home. But you mm -hmm. never do. Mm -hmm. Never. You always come back to the classroom, and you always say, OK, what I miss? Let's mm -hmm. get going. Yep. You're one of my heroes. He's a wonderful soul, and he He's very resilient, you know, everybody says kids are resilient, but this kid really is resilient. Here's Jake's going to be 11 this summer, and the idea was, you know, he needs to grow and to be independent. Hunter was right next to you, okay? Good boy. The dog will provide him with the ability to step out and to, to grow. Good boy. So is it weird having all these cameras around, Jake? Yep. Why? Because all the people with cameras are dopes. Oh, you're hysterical. I am. Why did you decide to do this? I think it's really important, this story. Uh, this is a great opportunity for Jake to have a, have a dog, a seizure response service dog. Hunter, come here. Come on. When I have a seizure, he has a reaction to tell me and to tell my mother. He's kind of reading my mind. 
and he kind of knows what's going to happen before I do, maybe. It's really remarkable. I don't know how he does it or why he does it. He does it out of love. That's why he does it. And uh, that's what's special about the whole thing is he does it out of love and out of concern and well-being for his person. And uh, he's got a good person. The cost of a dog like Hunter is $12,000. If you'd like to help other families afford one, you can make a donation to the Great Plains Assistance Dogs Foundation in Judd, North Dakota. That number is area code 701-584-2242.